everybody and welcome to Akshita's recipes. Thank you so much for stopping by. It is really a delight and it's something which is very simple to make. So uh, it's a super simple recipe like I said and uh, the end result is simply delicious. So let's just dive straight into today's recipe and today's video. So we're first going to wash the drumsticks very well and then using a peeler or a knife we're just going to peel off this thick outer skin and then we're going to cut it up into uh, smaller pieces. You can cut them as to you know whatever your requirement is and here I just uh, boil are just boiling them in some water till they are just about cooked. Now we're going to grind this masala paste for this lovely drumsticks okay. Now here I have about half a cup of fresh grated coconut and I'm going to keep a little bit aside for garnish. I also have two light green chilies which I've cut into half, one inch of ginger and about seven cloves of garlic. This is about one teaspoon of jeera seeds or cumin and half a teaspoon of turmeric and here I have one medium sized onion which I'm going to use for the bagar. So here I'm just cooking this a little bit, not completely. And today I'm going to grind my masala on this grinding stone rather than using the mixer. There's just something about grinding the masala on this fator or grinding stone. It just has its own flavor and uh, uh, you know you don't have to use a lot of water and uh, it just has a different flavor altogether. And I just love uh, you know grinding masalas or chutneys whenever I, it's possible for me and I have the time. I to grind it on this fator. Uh, first of all, it brings back, you know, all my childhood memories uh, of my holidays in Goa in my grandparents' home where we had both this uh, flat fator as well as I think it's called the rogodo, the big one. Correct me if I'm wrong. But uh, we used to use that when uh, my grandmother wanted to make, you know, something in a larger quantity. And I was always assigned the job of grinding the masalas. So uh, this does bring back my childhood memories. And uh, I don't know if you have a fator at home, then, you know, use it. Because even chutneys, coconut chutneys or even rechard masala, I mean, it just comes out, you know, different on this uh, stone rather than just putting everything into the mixer pot. If you have the time, again, you can do it. So now you see the paste, it's so nice and fine. And now I'm going to use this masala water also. And what you can do is just keep a steel plate or something at the side of the, you know, the corner and then just take a little water and uh, just swipe it like that in this manner. And, you know, that's how you can save the reserve water for the uh, suke. So now let's get on with the recipe now that we have our masala paste in place. So I'm just heating about one tablespoon of oil in my pan and I'm going to pagar my onion till it is nice and translucent. Then we are going to add <clears throat> the masala paste and we are going to fry the paste well till you get the lovely aroma of the paste. <clears throat> so once your onion is nice and translucent, you are going to add the paste and you are going to fry this for a bit. Uh, I don't know how far it's true but I've always been told that you know if you fry your onions well on a low to medium heat and your masala as well uh, even the life of the vegetable or the curry does remain longer I don't know how far it is true but I, I stick to that so uh, you know fry your onions well fry your masala well and uh, <clears throat> now I'm going to add my drumsticks which I have cooked uh, you know semi-cooked the reason I've semi-cooked it is because uh, you know, drumsticks do take some time to cook. And if you just put them into this sukhe directly and add some water, they tend to sometimes... And uh, now I'm going to add the masala water. 
we don't need to add t- too much of water because we've already cooked the drumstick so like i was saying when you pre cook it that you don't need to really be worried about it being raw or you know difficult to eat uh and now i'm going to add some salt and a pinch of sugar and give everything a good mix and then i'm going to cover and cook it for about 5 minutes now this is very op- this is optional but i like this little bit of a tangy flavor to my uh, sukhe so i'm going to just soak about half a teaspoon of tamarind in some water for about 5 minutes and then squeeze out the juice and i'm going to add this tamarind juice now this is completely optional if you don't want the tamarind juice just skip it uh, but it does add a little bit of the tangy flavor and makes it you know even more delicious so now we just going to cook everything till it the water completely is dry or you can retain a little bit and your drumstick sukhe is ready i'm just going to garnish it with some lovely fresh coconut now this goes very well with some rice or some chapatis or puris and uh, the best part is just you know biting on those drumsticks and just enjoying and relishing it friends i hope you like today's recipe as well as today's video and if you would like to see more videos like this then don't forget to leave this video a big thumbs up also by by clicking the thumbs up icon also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and become a part of akshita's recipes once you have subscribed there is a small little bell icon that will pop up so just click on that that way whenever i put up a new recipe or a new video you get a message with the same So on that note I'll say bye and I'll catch you in my next video sooner than you think this is Akshita saying bye take care stay healthy stay fit be kind and loving to one another so till we meet again bye